Um, for exercises two and three, we're going to introduce the different types of tabs. By default, it automatically, um, the tabs panel is automatically on the left justified tab setting, but there's also a center justified tab setting and a right justified tab setting, as well as align to decimal or other specified character tab. And so we're just going to go over those in this video. Um, the first one, see, so we already went over left align, which is by default, and that was the example in one. Um, now what I'm going to make sure to do, first let me zoom in on my exercise so we can focus on it, and then I have to make sure to adjust my tab ruler to the correct text frame. So let me click on the text frame and then press the little magnet icon. And now it adjusts the ruler to exactly the inset space, inside the inset spacing of that frame, um, with the zero point on the line on the left. And then, let's see, so now what I'm going to do, okay, I'm just going to constantly adjust my ruler. Every time I move my document, I just want to make sure that my tabs ruler is right spot on. Um, okay, so for this nutrition facts, there's different kinds of alignment. And um, for example, calories from fat, right here, there needs to be a tab. So I'm going to add a tab. And what I'm going to do is input the what Terry Ryberg instructs is you input the tabs and then you adjust where the tabs fall on the ruler after the fact. So I'm going to go ahead and input this tab, and then there's a tab here. And by default, it's a, there's a, a certain amount of space a tab will indent to, um, but then you ignore that for now. Just input the tabs, and then you can adjust it later. And then there's also a tab here, a tab here, a tab here. And then there's a tab here, and a tab here, a tab, let's see, here, a tab here. Okay, and I think that's about it. Okay, so, oh, I take that back. There's actually a tab after each quantity, so it has the ingredient and then or the nutrition, and then how many grams. So, okay, so you want to tab between the item and its quantity. All right, and then now what I'm going to do is make sure, change this indent to from a left indent, which is the default, to a right indent. And I have, in order to do that, I click on it, I select the correct indent, and then I place it on the ruler. And I'm going to place it basically as far to the edge as I can. Whoops. Is it allowing me to Let's see? What I had to do was place this indent as close to the edge as possible, um, indicated by this indent symbol, this triangle on its side. Basically, that's like the edge of the inset spacing. So if I go beyond that, it's going to have to return down to the next line, which I don't want. So let me bring it back. I just adjust it by dragging it to the left or the right, and um, that's good enough. <laughs> or I can enter it exactly in here. So I think what I can do is, a, let's see, that's um, almost two inches. It's about one, one and a half, one seventy-five, one somewhere almost two inches. So I could say one, let's see if I try 1.9 inches and hit enter. So you can actually enter it in the X coordinate box. Um, it's not perfect, but it's, it's fine for now. So everything's going to line up. All the tabs are going to line up right there for what I have highlighted. Actually, so right now, I only highlighted this one paragraph. As you can see with the hidden characters turned on, there is a paragraph symbol after every line because if there if there wasn't, that means right now all the tabs would be right aligned. And I don't want that. I want to adjust them separately. So 
right now, next, what I'm going to do is select these next four lines because these ones will be tabbed to a different, will be aligned to a different tab. And that one I'm going to put in the center, like one inch. And by default, it automatically right aligns everything. So um, all I have to do is when it's selected, which I can tell because it's highlighted with blue, um, I can click on the center icon, center align icon, and it just aligned everything to the center. And then um, for these next tabs, these next paragraphs, there's two sets of tabs. And um, one of them will be right aligned, tabbed. So, um, I'm going to add another right align tab. Let's see? Actually, both of, there will be two right align tabs. So, one will be right here and I can I can see as I adjust it. And right now it's it's um by default it's doing the center align because that's what I used last, but I can just click on the right align and it will change. And then I'm going to add another tab and move it as close to the edge as I can again. And then Okay, that will be, see, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it the same as the one above. So I'm going to enter 1.9 inches because that's what I had for the calories line. So now to line it perfectly. And then what I'm noticing here is that my second, my first tab is not quite where I want it. I want it exactly in the middle at one inch so it lines up. Um, no, I'll move it over a little bit so that total carbohydrate has more space. So I can just slide it over a little bit. Now I'm not being exact. I think Terry Ryberg in the book gave exact measurements, but I just kind of want to eyeball this one. In the end, it's not about whether things are exactly according to the book. It's about how it looks. And you want to have enough space between column one and column two so that there's a little bit of a distinction between the two. And I think that looks good enough. And now we can move on to exercise three, which introduces decimal tabs. So let me just make sure that the tabs ruler is aligned properly by pressing the magnet after I make sure that the correct text frame is highlighted. And then, um, Looks like I've already got tabs in place here. So all I have to do now is um, change the tab settings to the align to decimal. Okay. And then adjust it to where I want. And as you can see, if I put another one here, what's going to happen is that the text lines up. If I hold down my um, tab, then the line falls across the whole frame that shows exactly where things are lining up. And the numbers are lining up to exactly where the decimal is. And now by default it aligns to the decimal but you can actually put another number in here. 